Hello friends, welcome back once again in my uh, tutorial class. In our yesterday's class, we had discussed about the cosine law and its proof. Now today we are going to uh, discuss about the statement of sine law and its proof. So sine law states that in any triangle ABC, A upon sine A is equal to B upon sine B is equal to C upon sine C, where small A is the length of side BC, small B is the length of side AC, and small c is the length of side AB and capital A, capital B and capital C they denote the respective angles ok so now for its proof it is the statement you can see clearly now for its proof again same like yesterday's class same like how we had done in cosine law three cases arise depending on the size of each angle here also we consider angle C is our proof target okay so if angle C is acute angle then first case arises if angle C is obtuse angle then second case arises and if angle C is right angle then third case arises okay so for its proof we need to draw the figure and then let's come to some of the assumptions so let us consider a triangle ABC same like yesterday and let us draw AD perpendicular to BC or BC produced if necessary so in first and third figure BC is not necessary to produce but in second figure it is necessary to produce BC to draw perpendicular AD to BC ok you can see over here so again depending on the angle C size of angle C again three case arises ok case first when C is an acute angle, as we can see in first figure, okay, and when angle C is an acute angle, then now let's discuss in right angled triangle. Please see only first figure, okay? In right angled triangle ABD and ACD, we can see since we are proving sine law, so let's go ahead with taking the trigonometric ratio sin so from there we can get sin of b is equal to sin of b is equal to ad upon ab that is perpendicular upon hypotenuse in this figure sin b is equal to ad upon ab so this will be equal to or sin b is equal to ad upon AB means C. AB means C. So therefore, by cross multiplication, we can get AD is equal to C sin B. First. Similarly, sin C will be sin C is equal to AD upon AC. AD upon AC. So this will be or sin c is equal to ad upon ac means b so by cross multiplication we get ad is equal to b sin c uh, second so if you see equation first and second both are ad equal to something and ad equal to something so since left hand side are equal so it's right hand sides will also be equal so from 1 and 2 we can write from 1 and 2 we get from 1 and 2 we get uh, c sin b is equal to b sin c so from here by cross multiplication we can get therefore b upon sin b is equal to c upon sin c let it be first okay so what we got if we are drawing perpendicular from vertex a then we are getting a relation between b and c is it okay similarly similarly if we draw perpendicular from vertex b then we will get relation between a and c and if we draw perpendicular from vertex C, then we will get relation between 
A and B. Okay, so by similar pattern, we can go ahead. No need to do every steps. Okay, so I need some space once again. Okay, similarly, similarly, if we draw perpendicular, if we draw perpendicular from vertex B to AC, then by similar process, by similar process, we can get relation between, we can get relation between, relation between A and C is A upon sin A is equal to C upon sin C. So if we combine this equation and this equation, then we get our required proof. So combining 1 and 2, combining first and uh, second, we get A upon sine A is equal to B upon sine B equal to C upon <laughs> sine C. Okay, here comes the proof for first case. Similarly, now let's go to second case. Case 2. Case 2. Uh, when C is obtuse angle. When C is when C is obtuse angle. So for this we have to see figure 2. For this we have to see figure 2. So in this figure we can clearly see that if C is obtuse angle inside the triangle then its exterior angle will be pi minus C same like yesterday. Okay. So once again let's go ahead. So in right angled triangle, in right angled triangle, okay. So in right angled triangle, A, B, D and A, C, D, the same phenomena we are going to follow now. So it will be sin B is equal to A, D upon AB that is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So this will be or sin B is equal to AD upon AB means C. So therefore AD is equal to C sin B. Okay. Let it be small a. Similarly if you come in this small right angle triangle so you have to take sin pi minus C sin pi minus c equal to ad upon ad upon ad upon ac ad upon ac that is perpendicular upon hypotenuse so we know that sin 180 minus theta is sin theta that is second quadrant so it will be therefore sin c is equal to ad upon ac means small v small v so therefore ad is equal to ad is equal to b sin c let it be b so again if we combine small and small v same process so combining combining small a and small b we get c upon sin b is equal to b upon sin c so by cross multiplication we can get this will imply b upon sin b 
is equal to c upon sin c okay something similarity we can get in previous proof and this proof okay so b upon sin b equal to c upon sin c let's denote it by asterisk okay again again if we draw perpendicular from vertex b to ac then we get from b to vertex ac then we get c upon sin c equal to a upon sin a let's denote it by double asterisk then we get now from asterisk and double asterisk we get again a upon sin a equal to b upon sin b equal to c upon sin c hence we can prove the sin law from second figure as well when c is obtuse angle now we are going to prove in a third case when c is right angle triangle case 3 when c is right angle so for this we have to see third figure okay so let's prove uh, the same result for the third figure when c is right angle here in right angled triangle abc if we draw perpendicular from a to bc then the vertex c will represent vertex d so here we can say sin a is equal to bc upon ab bc upon ab so or sin a is equal to bc means small a upon ab means small c so from here we can get therefore small c equal to a upon sin a first equation similarly if we go to uh, angle b so sin b will be equal to ac upon ab so this will give sin b equal to ac means small b upon ab means small c so therefore small c equal to b upon sin b similarly also we can write small c is equal to small c upon sin c trick is here c is equal to small c upon sin c small c equal to small c upon sin c how can we say that how can we say that the reason because since c is equal to 90 degree so therefore sin c is equal to sin 90 sin 90 means 1 so sin, sin c will be 1 so we can say c is equal to c upon 1 sin c means sin 90 sin 90 means 1 so c upon 1 equal to c so c equal to c upon sin c we can say this is it okay then once again if we combine 1 2 and 3 then we get the required result so again from 1 2 and 3 1 2 and 3 we get how can we combine because all quantities if we see the left hand side is equal small c equal to something small c equal to something and small c equal to something so if its left hand side is equal then its right hand side will also be equal okay so combining this equation 1 2 and 3 we can get a upon sine a equal to b upon sine b is equal to c upon sine c so here we proved all three cases and we have proved the sine law 
so in our next video we are going to prove the sign law once again uh, by taking equal to 2r where r will be the radius of circumcircle for tomorrow this was for today thank you